for life. For life. Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardaway. It's gonna be a short video. I'm having a little trouble talking right now. But uh, something we need to address, that I've addressed a lot, but I might need to do it again, is how much pigs eat, how much pigs are tearing. Um, we've got five tops in this pen here. And something I'll tell you about these, if you watched the last video, those white bluebutt pigs in there are those really small pigs I had in the other video we were talking about. If your sow gets bred too early, those are the ones that came off of those little sows. And they're two months older than the red spotted pigs that are bigger now. So yes, you can top them out, but it's gonna take you a little bit longer and it's gonna cost you a little bit extra. But we were short on meat pigs, so I used them. And they've done okay. They're, they're going to top out, but I'm going to have more in them than all of them. But they're not total loss. I mean, they, they did top out. But those pigs are eating about 10, 12 pounds of feed a piece a day. And that's normal. A 220, 230 pound pig is going to eat at least 10 pounds a day. Now, they are wasting a little because they broke the ring in the feeder that controls the flow. You can, you can see this ring in that feeder, you can see it how fast the feed flows out. And then there's a little paddle in there that shake back and forth and make it feed down. Well, they've messed with it on this side till they broke it. And of course, it's full of feed, so I can't do anything about it. Plus, they're going out on the 17th. I've only got a little over two weeks to have to deal with them. But I see on Facebook some, and, and, and people ask me some questions some emails. That's normal. I mean, 10 pounds a day is normal. If you're feeding them with a scoop, you'd feed them 10 pounds a day. And that adds up. You know, the more pigs you have, that adds up. They're going through, you know, 10 bags of feed a week. And right now I'm having to buy feed because I'm out of corn and that's $14 a bag, $140 a week. Now I'm going to get that money back when I sell them. I'm going to make some money on them when I sell them. But that's why I tell you about cash flow all the time. That you've got to have some cash flow because you've got to have that $140 a week to feed them until you get them topped out so you sell them. And the other thing I want to show you is just what pigs can tear up. Uh, we're going to come over here and do it. Hey, that's what we went too long to this video. That slab of concrete right here, it's supposed to be under them feed troughs over there. And that's a pretty substantial piece of concrete. It's bigger than it looks. We discovered everything looks small in videos. And I don't know if she can show you the post they had chewed off over there that was the best one we've already replaced the other one and this tin over here they chewed the center post out, out in the back if you show you the back of that shell there you see they rolled the tin up now this took them several years to tear everything up this bad so what we're having to do now is go through pen by pen as I can move the pigs or have an empty pen or as I can move the pigs in another pen. We're fixing all that, pouring new concrete for the feeders and waters. And I think we're gonna wall most of these shelters up, put a front wall on them with just a door. That seems to help a little bit with the hole digging under the shelter. That was just two things I kind of really needed to reiterate because I don't think people have quite got it yet. They will tear up the world. Breaking stuff's their hobby. They will just mess with stuff to destroy it. Um, they pushed the concrete out here and dug out and this old sand it rolls down. Stop it. So I don't give nobody a seizure shaking the phone around you here. But anyway, they'll tear up the world. And if you'll notice that tractor supply panel, I'm not trying to buy my tractor supply, but uh, their panels are a little cheaper than everybody else's and apparently they're a little cheaper than everybody else's because they keep breaking the welds on the panels. We've got two or three of them we're having that trouble with. I'm about to bring a welder and a generator around here and, and try to patch it back together. We don't have that trouble with the older panels. But I'm getting where I can't talk. I just want to do a quick kind of check in. Tell you some things that might help you. Please. A lot of people have been asking us for another video. Uh, and we're going to do one possibly tomorrow about the produce business. How the produce business is going. 
my voice won't hold out for a long video. But remember, you can do all this stuff. You just need a little bit of good information to get you started. You need some motivation to get after it if you want to do it. You'll never do it sitting on the couch thinking about it. You'll never apply a field to turn it over in your mind. I always remember that. And y'all have a happy new year, and I appreciate you watching.